it's wet. He hasn't done that tonight. I wonder if that's a change of plan. With oh, what a left hook. Let's have another look at this now. Well, it was a beautiful punch, bang on the chin. Now, you can see the way he goes down, first of all, loses all control. Then you can see the actual time he took to get back up onto his feet again. Yeah, there it is there. He's got the left hand that he was talking about. But the way he slips inside is he, he's such a better, good defensive fighter, Tyson. They, people forget that. They're just... A fighter cannot be saved by the bell as the big right hand lands. Tyson knows he's got him in big trouble. If he doesn't answer it, Richard Steele has been... A fighter cannot be saved by the bell as the big right hand lands. Tyson knows he's got him in big trouble. If he doesn't answer it... Today, Mike Tyson, a fellow for whom everybody predicts a great future. Uh, if they can find some fights, then... Uh, ...with Cooney and Carl Williams in their training camps, and he was quoted as saying not too many weeks ago that... Mike fakes in. He leads to the right hand. Down he goes. Michael Tyson just absolutely attacked him. Watch this. He bangs him right back. And you see... Very, very quickly... Just clipped him right on the chin. The left was unnecessary. Marvis is badly hurt at this point. Uppercut again. And there, Marvis is out on his feet. Everything after this is just incidental. Tell what other punch hurt. Tubbs is hurt. Tubbs is hurt badly. At the left hands, which did the damage. Well, Tyson now starting to find his rank. The left hook there pretty much did spoke for itself. It's self-explanatory because it was a short and powerful left hook that put Tony Tubbs down. He should be hanging on. Now with the right hand, the left hand. He's going to hang on. Or he'll stop the fight. Down he goes. He should be hanging on. Now with the right hand, the left hand. He's going to hang on. Or he'll stop the fight. Well, this, this is it. He is gone right now. He has no legs at all. And 10 seconds to go in a round. There's the left hand. He's down again. It's over. Here's the final knockdown now. No, I, I think it's the power and the fact that Mike Tyson actually wore his man down. Stagger Thomas. And a right hand behind him. Thomas in trouble again. And now Tyson moves in for the kill. Two uppercuts and a left hand. Thomas trying to hold on. Serious trouble. And down he goes. Now let's take a look at the knockdown. You know, we talk about finishers, and I've always said you were a great finisher. Well, here's a guy who doesn't have to take a back seat. Well, he levels his punches. I mean, he gets so much uh, leverage behind each punch. Mike Tyson can... Bangs the body. Wow, with that uppercut of Tyson. Catches him with a right left hook, and he goes down. That uppercut, but notice it's all Tyson. Burbick doing nothing offensively, and he crashes down. Never been off his feet before, and now he switches for a moment to the southpaw stance and tries to rock two right hooks off Tyson's head. With about 20 seconds to go. Hooks off Tyson's head. With about 20 seconds to go. Fighter, and then uh, he's gone full time. He's also taking criminal law courses at Oklahoma State. Right now he backs off from a sharp right uppercut to the body by Tyson again. And here it comes. There was a hard left hand. He didn't get full extension on it. Then, right hand to the body, just like that. Upstairs oh, with a right uppercut. Oh. Good night. Tyson has left little doubt about that so far. Right hand, that should be just about it. Davey Pearl looking very closely. And that's all. It's over. As he moves in to end the fight, Radliff is hurt. That right hand hurts him some more. It's just a question of letting him fall and get away from the ropes left to the body left to the head right to the head. 23 pound weight oh, advantage oh and he put it all in for an invitation here it comes whoa i'll tell you michael jack johnson earned said yeah hell yeah that's a fighter here tyson with that aggressive style and working the left hook he was able to hurt Rebalta a number of times, but Rebalta maintained his composure, very, very poised. Good right up a gut, and once again, the legs twitch. Was there in trouble. And down. 
good right uppercut. And once again, the legs twitch. Jose they're in trouble. And anywhere else, he's in danger. And within seconds, Savarese is down on the canvas. I told you Savarese was going to underestimate his speed and his power. Tyson. And within seconds, Savarese is down on the canvas. I told you Savarese was going to underestimate his speed and his power. And this was the closing flurry that ended it. Now, as you look into his eye, that right there, you can see how glassy-eyed he is. This is the final knockdown again, and it definitely ended here in round number five. Jameson is doing at this point what I think he should have been doing from the first oh, He just took a right that referee know if you want to fight on. He can't think for you. Here we see the knockdown. It was a right hand as he was going down, a glancing right hand to the top of the head. He succumbed to the three or four punches that he took before then. Now this we see it from another angle. The right hand there, right off the top of the head was the one. Gets long. Five of eight have fallen in the first. Is it six of nine as Tyson comes out with a strong right hand barrage again? This is as bad as I've ever seen Donnie Long look, but and give Tyson credit. That's Tyson has put away Donnie Long in the first. The end of the fight. That, that's, that left hand, such a short left hand. He's taken two counts. Three. Two counts. There will be a Tyson shot that hits him. And they separate. The knockdown, knockout coming in round one of this heavyweight fight. There it was. Body blows, but he hit him with a quick left to, right there. It snapped the head back. And, it, you know, a lot of times you catch a guy on the right side of the chin. Proto expected. He said he's not looking for the Tyson of Fort McGillian Mathis. Here's a combination uppercut by Tyson. Tyson laying it on, pouring it on. Down goes Proto. Now let's take a look at how Tyson took care of business. Duck under a shot under the arm in the legs, and from here on out, a rain of punches, which buckled Frank Bruno until he was helpless. If you let Mike Tyson get that kind of leverage with that right uppercut, we're in the second, and once again, it's all Tyson and Nelson. Who was in deep trouble is in deeper trouble. And wicked body shot after another. I mean, you could hear those punches clear out to the parking lot. I couldn't figure out whether Nelson was there to fight or to give a lesson in survival tactics. Anyway, Tyson finally got to him in the second, setting him up with a sweet overhand right, then taking him out with a vicious left hand. Somehow, you know, I just kind of doubt it. There's only so much punishment anybody can take. That is the limit. Somehow, you know, I just kind of doubt it. There's only so much punishment anybody can take. Better when you can't get all punches. If, oh, a it's a short, chopping right hand. There it is. Right on. You look at the body. He turns his body into this punch. His hips, his shoulders from the floor up. He drives this right hand right, in. Bobby, Bobby, take Here's this. a different angle. And you can watch both the coming and what he sees. Mike steps into him, bang. He turns his whole body, his hip, his leg. 6-3. Left hook. Good night. Now he did it. Measured him up. Missed with that. Not with that. And really. 1990, Mike Tyson returned from a first career defeat to score a one-round win. Got him with a left hand and he's out of here. Second knockdown. This will come via a left hook. That didn't look as powerful as... Uh, Early in the fourth, can Tyson finish this? I think so. I think so. That's enough. The journey continues in the next episode of Tyson, Raw and Uncut.
pushing machine so far. This isn't going to go too long. 